It's the morning, it's day two, and I feel hungry, but I'm not starving, so looking forward to a bowl of Special K for breakfast. So to make sure I don't get too bored too quickly, I'm going to mix it up a little bit with Special K chocolate. Uh, this one's 6% fat, I suppose, so they, is it two or three of the other one? Two, I think it was. Um, I'm going to have a little chocolatey curls in there, so that will hopefully be quite nice. Uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea with it as well, and uh, of course our stupid skimmed milk. So, um, yeah, let's magic up a bowl of Special K chocolate. Well, um, it smells pretty much exactly the same as Special K. I've got these little chocolate curls here. Get off. Um, incredibly sweet. Wow. And yeah, it's pretty cheap tasting chocolate. No Cadbury's anyway. Throw on some dishwater. Mm. Nice bit of chocolate in there. Hmm. When you have it with the cereal and the milk, the sweetness is not too bad. So it's actually quite nice. And it's 6% fat, and how many calories is it? I'm trying to look at the bloody box which I've put over there. 119 calories for a bowl. So that's pretty good. Along with this uh, cup of tea, which is also used with uh, dirt milk. Probably about 125 calories overall. So it's all good. I'm going to enjoy this breakfast. Hmm, going well. All right, it is half past one. Didn't really fancy anything snack-wise today. Uh, that's the good thing about it is, if you don't fancy having a snack, it doesn't force you to have it. It's not like that god-awful, lose a stone in a weak diet where you have to have everything, otherwise it won't work because it's based on chemicals, apparently, and not on the fact that it's 600 calories of food a day. But it's lunchtime now. I'm going to have some more of the Special K chocolate, I think, because I really enjoyed that this morning. So, it's time to tuck in. So I am four bowls of cereal into this now. Uh, and I think I have to say, I, I do, I, this is probably my favorite challenge so far. I mean, I know I'm only on lunchtime on day two, but, oops. This is really nice cereal. And usually I'm not too much of a fan of chocolate cereal because it turns the milk a horrible, dirty brown colour and it just tastes awful, like really bad and cheap chocolate milk, but this one doesn't. The chocolate stays whole, so it actually, uh, you know, works as a mouthful rather than just dirty water. Let's just pretend I didn't spill that bit of milk. So, hmm, lunchtime, let's see if I'm hungry for a snack this afternoon, but I mean, it's half past one now, so it's hardly a early lunch, so maybe it'll get me through the afternoon, but all is well. I'm very happy. Sorry that that's probably incredibly boring, but what can I say? I'm enjoying it. Well, it's five o'clock. Uh, it's not actually that dark. It just appears dark. There we go. Let there be light. Um, I had, again, no snack this afternoon. Didn't feel hungry enough, so I didn't bother. But it's dinner time now, so time to cook. And yes, definitely cooking tonight. So, uh, what we got? There we go, homemade deconstructed chicken and ham pie with mashed potatoes and peas. Um, this is sort of a recipe my fiance sort of developed, but it is absolutely amazing. I could eat this all day, every day, and be very, very fat and die. But I better not do that, because I've still got six days to go. Well, five, I guess because uh, this is the last meal of today. And what a way to go. Really love this one. Can't beat a bit of, nice bit of mash. Hmm. That's really good. So if I do die, I'll die happy tonight. Well, that's it. Day two. Went really well. Not got any complaints, really. Um, the cereal's really nice. Can eat, you know, a nice, sensible meal in an evening. 
so it's kind of boring really it's all going really well whether the day three slump happens tomorrow like it did with the last one I don't know but we shall see I suppose even though I'm not eating as much as I normally do we're handling it really well not feeling pains of hunger or anything hmm. oh well let's see what tomorrow brings